are currently on a mission in Boston's North End, which is incredibly famous for its delicious Italian food. There is a raging ongoing debate, which we are going to settle tonight. Which pastry shop has the best cannolis? We are gonna be trying out three bakeries tonight. Number one, Mike's Pastry. And number two, Modern Pastry. And finally, number three, Boba. Let's go buy some cannolis. We are at Modern Pastry, so go in. <laughs> One box down, two more to go. Number two's got a line out the door, and it's only like five. Very easy. Box number two, complete. And number three, complete. super good. I need another bite. I love the filling. The filling is very sweet and the texture is like super soft and smooth and I like it a lot but I find that the, the, the shell itself is relatively thin which maybe for some people is something that's good. I wish that there was almost like a little bit more shell to cream ratio. Then we're gonna go on to Mike's and their traditional ricotta original filled cannoli. It's so big, I didn't get any shell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mmm. I'm conflicted right now. I think I like the shells more at this place, but modern pastries filling is so good. But even though the size and the amount of powdered sugar on it made me really excited, I think I like modern pastries better. Okay, and then next we have boba's. I just love the texture of how it was filled and how it was piped. It's very clean and very elegant. Okay, here we go. That's my favorite. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Boba's, well done you. I just didn't think, I thought Mike's was for sure the winner here and I'm liking boba's original cannoli. Who would have thought? Wow. There you go. Huh. One, two, three. We have our first ranking. Okay. So let's go to the chocolate now. Mm. I'm not liking it. I'm disappointed. Oof. I feel really bad saying that. It's like a really good chocolate mousse. But it's not like a cannoli filling in my opinion. It's like too light almost. It's too moussey. It's really good, but I don't think it's meant to be in a cannoli as much. I'm so sorry. Next for chocolate, we have Mike's. Here we go. I'm not a fan. Why am I not liking these chocolate ones? Why am I not liking these? I thought the chocolate ones were going to be my favorite, but they're just too moussey. Both of them are really moussey. Maybe that's just what they're supposed to be, but I'm not a fan of them. Sorry. Well, you're usually a chocolate fan, so that's pretty surprising. I'm a huge chocolate fan. That's why I'm so confused right now. So then Boba's. At first, when I got this was ordered, I was really disappointed that they didn't have a chocolate filled option. And I was like, what? Well, maybe not. I see why. I don't know. But um, it's a Nutella filled, so it was the closest thing we could get. Let's try it out. 
Mmm, I really like this one a lot. Who them that bow is? You're just destroying it. It's not as Nutella-y and chocolatey as I was expecting, but <laughs> but it's like really creamy and light and just pleasant to eat. I'm a big fan. Cleansing, because this is a lot of flavor. And now here we go. We are about to try the final three. <clears throat> chocolate chip chocolate dipped cannolis from each of the places. Here we go. Modern pastry. Mmm. Oh yeah. There is so many freaking chocolate chips on there and I'm so happy. And <coughs> so many chocolate chips. chocolate chip chocolate dip. The actual like cannoli shell that is chocolate dip is so good. Alrighty, my pastry chocolate chip cannoli. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, the fillings are so different. They're so different. This is way lighter. It's kind of fluffier and more of like a frosting type of thing. Well, that's more of like a thicker custard. So we're finally taking the bite of the ninth cannoli here. Unfortunately, as I said, there's no chocolate chips on this. Mm. It tastes really good. I don't know what it is about boba shells, but they just taste amazing. I would say it's the weakest link of the three of bobas, but it's still really, really high quality. It's time for the final rankings. Dun, dun, dun. I'm totally shocked at what I'm about to say. I truly thought, truly thought, that when I was coming into this, I was going to say Mike's Pastries for sure. I've already had Mike's Pastries like three times before even trying all of them, and I love it. But I had never had Modern or Bozo's before trying this video. This, Mike's is often the number one place that is recommended, so I just automatically assume my taste buds would be as happy as my eyes. But trying these my favorite cannoli of all nine of these is the original plain traditional ricotta cannoli I can't believe it I thought Bobo's was gonna be third on my list because I've heard about it the least but oh my god don't you agree an yeah. underdog story so good this is good cannoli and I also am like usually one who's like Oh, give me chocolate. Oh, give me extra sprinkles. No. Traditional, simple ricotta cannoli. Oh my god. Bobas, I'm impressed. If you are in Boston, please go check out Bobas. You will not regret it. They are amazing, amazing, amazing cannolis. I love all three of them. You can't go wrong. But my favorite, again, of all nine laid out on the table, easily is Bobas traditional ricotta plain cannoli. If you're in the North End in Boston ever, go to any three of these cannoli shops. They're all amazing, all worth the high recommendations and the high praise that they get. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Make sure again, of course, to subscribe, ring that bell if you want to see more videos like this or any other travel tips, tricks, or travel adventures that Ben and I go on. So until then, thank you so much for watching.